I can only imagine Nine Adachi still being a really good team, especially for someone like a Pooflips who loves to just kind of run around on his opponent, you know, put them put them into block and just see how long they can keep them there. Good little catch, can't confirm that one out of the air. The back, or the, the 4P going to catch him and allow Yumi to get going to work. Oh, cross combo, delayed. Trying to make sure that he keeps them there as long as possible, and there's the pop-up. Very good patience there from LTL to be able to find something, gets the throw. First sit. And that's free mix for Adachi. Oh, no, he's just going to jump over him, and this is not looking good for Apocalypse right now. Nauto damage, looking strong. Six and a half, not bad. Ooh, just supers right through that C's 9 server self up, and he's like, nah, I'm wanting that. I want that character. Puts Apocalypse to a level 2 resonance. He's going to spend it now, and he's going to get put right into the blender. Stuck between a rock and a hard place, but he kind of slips his way out of it. Trying to find some safety in the far corner. Doesn't quite get it as LTL shouldn't be able to finish off this, but he's going to be able to deal such a good bit. Now stuck in the corner. There goes his resonance, and there goes most of his chances of winning this. Apocalypse goes for that high beam. No punish. Can't get there. Pooklips still just trying to weave his way around. LTL in such a commanding lead right now. Jump back. Ooh, air dashes forwards. During that little stall there, did not want to move himself towards the Yumi, but he gets caught anyways. Isn't Yumi the name of that cat thing in League of Legends as well? Can't escape that. Can't escape that garbage character. Going into game two, LTL and Apocalypse going to give this another run. Apocalypse now will actually have nine to work with for a little bit, but we'll see how long that lasts as she got shredded last time. And well, that's 6P going to start things off. Beam going, not going to work. Nine picked up. Adachi just kind of hanging out there in the corner, trying to not get hit. Good block. Throws him. This is a good bit of damage that Adachi gets off of the throw. It's nearly like six, I think. Oh, goes for a goes for a five seed and just kind of pin him. Caught. There's the beam. Wow, that is a very safe combo he's got going. Just doesn't really have to commit the body, but that could be the end of nine. That should be the end of nine. Five bars sitting on LTL's side. Apocalypse with not five bars worth of health to be able to deal with that. And from uh, a good position to quite a bad one here for Apocalypse. Needs to find his way out of this. He charges up a beam. It's going to be free resonance. Needs to walk his way in. 4P going to kind of stop him. And whoa, activates that cross combo at the last possible, last possible second when Apocalypse just kind of sandwiches himself. Very good patience from LTL, and he's going to be able to get the combo off of that 4P. Catching Apocalypse out of the air. Apocalypse needs to hold this insanely long time-wise combo as he just slowly has his health and resonance melt away to the point of extinction. Dachi trying to make it work. Still playing it slow. He's going to be caught in the middle. Immediately to the safety of the corner. So Pooklips, no, doesn't get worked down. The back throw going to help him out. And this is going to be a good pickup of the damage. Here with the corner, be able to get everything and anything that he can. Oh, the empty hop low. He got him. It's not going to kill, but it's going to do a good bit of damage. Oh, wait, what? Yo, cross slash in the corner picks up. I was not aware of this. Yo, that's huge for Apocalypse. From a bad situation to a great one, he does have to deal with level 4 resonance on this Yumi, which means that he's probably going to be in block for a hell of a long time. Oh, or he's just going to get clipped. Level 9? Nah, just finished the combo. Ah, thank you. I'm with you. Well, Apocalypse, he almost brought that one back, but just a small misstep. He couldn't quite do it. Can't escape from crossing Currently 2-0 for LTL, but Apocalypse has made it look doable. No cross combo. LTL not biting. This is going to be Apocalypse once again getting worked into the corner and eating a lot of damage on this 9. She doesn't have much health to spend to begin with. And Oh, okay. Good reject there. Gives himself the space. Could not get him in time.
tried to use the assist and everything to get himself over there, but just not working. Nine going to be stuck in the middle. LTL will spend. That first bar melts like mad, but he's going to be able to find the combo anyways. Good pick up. Did he? He did. That should kill the character. In comes Yumi once again. LTL extremely healthy. And Nine once again will fade into obscurity without getting to say much. Oh, and another huge 4P. Bigger than Ruby's and I believe just as fast. Memory serves. Oh, nice grab there. Expecting to have to block was not ready to tech that. Solid pickup here from LTL. And what in the world? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and catch the replay. I actually don't know what happened there. Okay. Okay, here it is. He... Oh, he, he whiffed a throw. Okay, he whiffed a throw. I was like, I swear you can't jump into the corner in this game. Um, and he didn't. He just he expected the throw. It was a short hop immediate air dash. Or IED. Instant air dash. Um... Yeah, no, stuff happens. Sometimes you get caught. 